Hi, this is Andy Hoskinson. I wanted to take a few minutes to tell you about a, uh, a pretty cool app that I found on the Apple App Store. It's called Codea. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's uh, spelled C-O-D-E-A, and uh, it goes for about $10. So what it does is it's basically an app, an iPad app, that allows you to de develop iPad apps on the iPad itself. And I'm pretty sure it's the only app out there that uh, provides a development environment for iPad apps on the, uh, on the iPad itself. And it uses the uh, Lua programming language, the Lua scripting language, which is a popular scripting language for developing computer games. Well, anyway, um, so I bought it about a week ago, and uh, you know, it's very easy to use. Uh, anybody who has any level of programming experience is going to be able to use it pretty easily. Uh, literally within an hour, I was able to write my own app. And this is the app I'm going to show you right now. It's a, a little finger painting app. So let me go ahead and uh, start it up. So you can see the code. Um, it's literally only 15 lines of code, and I'll go over it in a few minutes. I'm also providing it in the uh, description field below for the video if you want to download it and uh, play around with it. So let me go ahead and run it. So, so basically, um, it allows you to basically finger paint objects on the screen, right? So I'm going to finger paint a little uh, smiley face, right? So this little app I wrote literally took me 15 or 20 minutes to write, you know, 15 lines of code. Uh, and it's, a, you know, a pretty useful app to allow you to do, you know, finger painting on the screen, you know, basically anything you want, right? So let's go over the code. So if you look at the code, there are basically three functions that you implement. The first function, I know it's hard to see on the screen, but the first function is called setup. And basically, setup is where you put all of your code that you need to set up your app. For example, you can uh, set the display mode. In this case, I'm setting it to full screen. You can set the initial XY coordinates on the screen. And you can set the background color. In this case, I'm setting it to black. Then the next function, let's go down to the bottom of the code. I know this is hard to see on the video, but I've placed it in the description field of the video. You have a function called touched. And basically, this function is the event handler that handles every time you touch the screen with your finger. So what I'm doing in this case is I'm uh, you know, marking the X and Y coordinates of where the finger touch occurred and setting the color to a shade of yellow. And then the third function is a function called draw and Lua basically calls, or Codia basically calls this function 60 times per second to draw the screen and what you do in this case is you, um, you know, just go ahead and uh, put a circle, uh, in this case a yellow circle, at the XY coordinates where the screen was touched. So basically that's all there was to this little app. And like I said, one thing I like about this, uh, this app is that, uh, you know, immediately I was productive in it and I could create literally in 15 minutes a, a useful iPad app. So how do you get it in the App Store? Well, I haven't actually tried this feature out yet, but my understanding is that uh, the vendor who creates uh, this app, Codia, has actually uh, provided an Xcode template that you can use to import your Lua code uh, developed using this app into Xcode and then generate a binary that you can then upload to the Apple App Store uh, assuming, of course, you have you know a valid account to upload uh, to su submit apps to the App Store. Well, anyway, so this is my review of the uh, the app Codia. Uh, again, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's uh, spelled uh, C O D E A, and it's a pretty cool development environment for the iPad, which allows you to develop iPad apps on the iPad itself using the Lua scripting language. Thank you and enjoy.